We all know the best defense against breast cancer is early detection. Your radiologist might see something in your breast exam that looks suspicious. To find out more, we perform a breast biopsy. That means we take a sample of breast tissue, which is then studied in a pathology lab. Today we have minimally invasive methods for sampling the tissue. That means we use a needle to take the sample with an imaging system for guidance. It's faster and more comfortable than open surgery, and your recovery time is much quicker. Of course it's okay to be nervous about any medical procedure, but it's really not quite as scary as it sounds, and it helps to know ahead of time what's going to happen. First, you will lie on your stomach on a special table with your breast through an opening. The table will be raised up and your breast will be carefully compressed into a fixed position, just like a mammogram. Then three x-ray images, center, left and right, are taken. These stereo pictures will pinpoint the exact location to take the tissue sample. Now that you're in position, the physician comes into the room. A computer is used to mark the target area on both stereo images, which gives a set of numbers to use as a guide to precisely position the biopsy device. Next, they will clean and numb your breast prior to making a small incision. This is the time when it's important to lie very still. Because when the instrument is triggered, you'll hear a noise and you may feel some pressure. This advances the tip of the needle into your tissue to the exact point where they want to take a sample. They check one more set of images to make sure they've reached the area of interest. Vacuum pressure is used to take out the sample, flushing the area with fluid at the same time. They take a few samples to make sure they have enough tissue for diagnosis. Finally, a tiny marker is placed at the spot where they took the sample. This can be seen in future mammograms to show the location of this biopsy and to minimize the chance that this location would be biopsied again. They check one more set of images to make sure the marker has been placed successfully. When the procedure is finished, they bandage your incision and apply pressure for 5 to 10 minutes. Then you will have a post-biopsy mammogram. Normally, the whole procedure should take about an hour or so. Most women are able to get right back to their normal lives the same day. It's normal to feel some discomfort. There's a tiny nick in your skin that will heal in a few days. Your physician will provide post-procedure instructions. But if you develop redness, tenderness or swelling, or any unusual symptoms, be sure to let your doctor or nurse know about it. Your doctor will contact you to tell you what the lab work indicates and whether any more procedures need to be done. Early detection is the best weapon against breast cancer. A longer, healthier life is something every woman deserves.